Do you have any computer, internet, or technology questions? Feel free to ask them at cleartechinfo.com. Remember, the only stupid question is a question you don't ask. In this tutorial, you will learn how to hear and view any audio and video file on your Windows XP or Vista computer. It doesn't matter where you get the file from. Either your cell phone, you could get the file from an email somebody sent you, or you could get it from the internet. Here is an example of two video files that your Windows XP or Vista computer does not recognize out of the box. One of them is a .avi file and the other one is an MKV file. The .avi is actually a DivX file, which your Windows XP or Vista computer does not recognize out of the box. Same thing with the MKV, it does not recognize as is. You double click the DivX file, it will show this message. You double click the MKV file, it will show this message. The first thing that you need to do is go to the internet, install the VLC media player, open up your browser, at the top type in videoland.org. Find the download link and click it. VLC will work in Windows, Mac, BOS, Syllable, and Linux. So basically works in everything. Click on Windows. Click Download. Click Save File. When the download is complete, go to the exact location where it was downloaded to. And then double click the file. Click run. Select the language of preference. Mine would be English. Click next. Agree. This will give you several different options. If you don't know which one to choose, just click full. Then click install. When it is complete, this will pop up. Just click finish. Then click OK. And it is installed. There is one more thing you need to download. Close this out. Open up your browser again. Then type in cccp-project.net. And hit enter. Download the link here, which is Windows Vista, XP, and Windows 2K. Click Save. When it, the downloading is complete, go to that location. Double click this file. Click next. Next. Make sure it is at full. Click next. Next. Click next. Click finish. And you could adjust different settings if you wish.
now you have two brand new audio and video players installed. And both will play almost everything you throw at them. The first one is the VLC player. And the other is my personal favorite, Media Player Classic. If for some reason an audio or video file does not play in one, it will probably play in the other. A good example is the QuickTime video files. A lot of them don't play in the Media Player Classic, so I just throw it at VLC and it plays in there. Now I'll go back to the files that I could not view or hear. I'll start with the DivX file, drag and drop it in there, and now I can play the video. Here's the MKV file, drag and drop it on there, and I can now play it. Now you can view and hear almost any audio and video file you throw at your computer, which is two simple and free little downloads. If you have any questions on this, go to the Clear Tech Info help forms and we'll be there to answer. For more tutorials, tips, tricks, and advice on computers, internet, and technology, go to cleartechinfo.com.